um, we began talking about immunotherapy. We really didn't understand how the immunotherapy was working. But what became clear at that time was that tumors such as melanoma and lung cancer were responding very well. And one of the genomic insights we understood was that those tumors had tons of mutations. Um, and we actually proposed this hypothesis then um, more as an academic exercise, uh, but it didn't get a lot of attention. But the one thing we noticed was that, that those were intermediate level mutations. There were tumors with even more mutations, and those were the tumors with mismatch hair. So we began to talk to pharmaceutical companies with PD-1 blockade, thinking that we could augment the immune system in those patients that had lots of mutations, and that would induce a, a fairly strong therapeutic response. Um, and we had interest, but the only one that was really interested was Merck. And Merck agreed to give us the drug for free. But we, we still had another problem, which was the funds to actually run the clinical trial. But we were fortunate that we had Swim Across America. Uh, and Swim Across America are 500 swimmers in the Baltimore area that jump in the Chesapeake Bay and they raise money for cancer research. So they donated the funds to run the clinical trial. Merck donated the drug. We had the idea. And put all that together, we ran this clinical trial. And the clinical trial was run in such a way where patients with mismatch repair would get the drug and patients without it would also get the drug. The patients without the mismatch repair, and these were patients with advanced disease, progressed, and unfortunately many of them passed away quite quickly. The ones with mismatch repair, about 90% of them had their disease controlled and about 60% of them, the tumor shrank. And um, to date, virtually all the patients are still in the study with mismatch repair and doing fantastic.